Minasan konnichiwa. This is Matt Okahara from the Matsumoto Castle Gun Corps, and with one month to go until the autumn and the beginning of the next gunnery season, in this video we're going to be talking about some history from Matsumoto City. Matsumoto was relatively spared from the heavy bombing that devastated other cities in Japan, but it wasn't untouched by the war's impact. In the late stages of the war, Matsumoto, like many other Japanese cities, lived under the constant threat of air raids. The city's people were deeply affected by the ongoing conflict, with many young men being called up to serve in the military, and some were even recruited for the kamikaze missions. The kamikaze, or divine wind pilots, were volunteers who were tasked with the grim mission of sacrificing their lives by crashing their aircraft into enemy ships. They were usually young, between the ages of 17 and 24, and only had minimal flight experience. Training began with basic flight instruction, but it was quickly intensified. They practiced takeoffs, navigation, and most critically, dive bombing techniques. The training wasn't just about skill, but also about instilling a mindset of unquestionable loyalty and sacrifice. These young pilots were taught to view their missions as a noble duty and an honorable death for the emperor and for the nation. After their training, these pilots faced a tense and uncertain wait. Sometimes days, weeks or even months would pass before a mission was assigned to them. As they awaited their assignments, the squadrons were based at airfields in and around Japan and one of those airfields was Matsumoto City. A memorial to the pilots in the city reads, at the end of the Greater East Asian War, special attack units were formed and praying for peace and prosperity for their homeland, they left their beloved parents, wives, children and families and rammed enemy ships with their own planes. Many such pilots stayed in Matsumoto City, waiting to be deployed and took off from the Matsumoto Army Airfield to the front line. There was a warm exchange with the school children from Tokyo, who had been evacuated to Asama Onsen at the time. They boldly faced the crisis that threatened the survival of the nation and became the foundation of today's peaceful Japan. They fought bravely and died in battle. Over 160 young men from the army and navy were killed in this battle as kamikaze pilots of this city. <laughs> One of the pilots from Matsumoto City was called Ryoji Weha. Age 22, he wrote a letter to his parents the night before his final mission, which was published after the war, and it is regarded as a masterpiece of wartime literary works. He wrote, I feel deeply honoured and privileged to have been chosen to become a member of the Army's Special Assault Unit, which embodies the glory of Japan. Having read logic and philosophy through my somewhat extended student life, I am sure that, based upon the idea of reason, triumph of liberty is inevitable to me although I might sound like a liberalist. It is a clear fact that authoritarian and totalitarian regimes may sporadically prosper, but they ultimately will perish. We can see the truth of that in the Axis governments, as manifested by the defeat of Italy under fascism, not to mention Germany under Nazism. Authoritarian governments are disappearing one after the other, crumbling like buildings without foundation. I believe that the universality of truth will eternally and permanently prove the greatness of liberty as is now being verified by the reality and just as history has shown in the past. I will be more than delighted to find that my belief has been proved right, even though that turns out to be a disaster for our nation. The current struggle, whatever it is, stems from ideology and the result of a struggle can readily be predicted by the belief systems upon which the struggle is fought. The ambition of making my beloved Japan become as mighty an empire as Great Britain has faded away. If the leading positions in Japan had been held by those who truly love Japan, my country would not have been driven into the situation it faces today. In such an emotional state, my death may probably lead to nothing. Tomorrow is the day of the assault. My idea is too highly extreme to be made public, but I just wanted to express the true feelings inside of me. Another liberalist will depart from this earth tomorrow. Although he may appear forlorn, he is in fact very content. <laughs>